Nick, can we get your full name? Yeah, it's uh, Rob Hill. I'm senior producer for Tryon. Uh, so basically, I'm on the game side of Defiance. Okay. Um, I've been with this project from the very beginning, before we even knew what the heck Defiance was. Um, working with sci-fi to develop the universe, develop how it looked, the kind of stories they wanted to tell, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I was I was in all of it, so that may help you direct any questions you yeah, How many years in development was it? I mean, I, I always hear like different numbers of how many years it's been in development. It's been like four or five? Or it's been about a little over five. Five, yeah. Yeah, but that wasn't, I mean, for, that was a lot of figuring things out from the beginning. It wasn't like, okay, here we go, boom, go. Yeah. Uh, we had to really kind of decide, okay, what does a show need? to be successful? What does a game need to be successful? How does, how is this whole thing even going to work? Um, so a lot of time was spent learning the language of how television is developed, and then learning the language of how the game was developed. Uh, and then once we established that, and established the universe and the stories, uh, we were then able to really start a pre-production. Was the idea like for doing a game first? Was the idea of maybe doing a TV show? Or was the idea always to do a game and a television show? It was always to do a game and a television show, and to have an interaction between uh, the game and the television show. That was the idea. Sci-fi, in particular, was looking for this kind of experience because they tell a story for an hour for 13 weeks. And David Howe really felt that they had, their fans wanted more. They wanted to experience the universe more than they could within those 13 weeks. And so that's where the idea really kind of culminated, talking to our CEO, Lars Butler. They essentially went to dinner one night, started talking about, you know, what, wouldn't it be cool if we did this? Be cool if we did this? And then they came up with this idea, you know, worked everything out, got the deal signed, and then we went. Like, so last time we talked, uh, that was before the show even started. <laughs> Hi. <Yes. laughs> um, so I'm wondering, what have you learned during the first season that the show started and uh, the crossovers with the video game? What's, um, well, we've what's learned that we can actually go much further now. Uh, the thing about the, the first season was there was no television show on the air. There was no game started. Uh, so there was no history behind it. So uh, now that we've got that history behind us, and they're in the off season right now, but that doesn't mean that the the universe of Defiance stops. It keeps going. Uh, it goes within the game, and time continues to move. So season two will uh, start after all that time has elapsed. So what was the moment going live when the, I think the, the game started a week two, early two or two weeks early? Yeah. yeah. So, how, so how was that period of time for you? It was scary, to be honest. I, I mean, these games are... We, there's yeah. never been a third-person shooter, massive online game. Uh, we thought people would love it. We had this dynamic content. We thought people would love that, too. Um, it wasn't until we pulled the trigger that we found out that people actually did like it. How many are playing now? I can't do numbers, sorry. I mean, we did announce a couple of months ago that we had a, a million people uh, try the pro project or make accounts for the project, uh, particularly in our stress test. I mean, it's a grand, it's really groundbreaking stuff that you guys are doing, and I'm sure you're aware of that at the beginning. So oh, yeah. <laughs> now that it's launched, now that you kind of have it, is it more daunting now that you, there's sort of expectations built or to, in going into the second season, or is it scarier in the beginning? It was much scarier in the beginning, because yeah. we, we didn't have anything we could point to. Nobody's done this, so we couldn't say, okay, we're going to do it just like they did. Um, now that we have some experience in our notes, we saw some things that worked really well, some things that maybe didn't work as well as we hoped. Um, we can take that knowledge and, and expand it further. So actually, it's, it's not nearly yeah. as scary as <laughs> we started. Yeah, so did the crossovers work out the way you wanted to? I mean, there was, there was a period to be integrated, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. How, did that work out the way you, you planned it or you imagined it, or was it a different experience? No, it actually worked out really well. And what we found was that there were people in the game who weren't watching the television show that really loved that character and said, wow, I should, maybe you should be watching the show. This character came from a television show? Maybe I should be watching that. So, yeah, I mean, I thought that in particular worked out really well. We had the, the plague that existed from the television show the game, leading up from the game to the television show and culminating uh, within the game. And the, and the players actually solved... You know, they had a mission that solved the problem for the people who the show. And they loved that kind of stuff. It was great. What about the game guys moving on to some other other things in development right now? Right now, we're fully focused on the client. 
It's so much. <laughs> so uh, the, the contest is coming up about uh, inserting a character into the show. Yes. I mean, it sounds like a really interesting crossover. And, uh, you know, and it's just that, uh, I don't know, like, uh, I mean, how would you incorporate something like that? I mean, like, uh, and have the bio that it's just going to be like, just like a background character, or is somebody going to, like, pop in? And actually well, we've actually already it. done it to some tiny extent. Oh, you did? Yeah, if, uh, in the season finale, there's a shot of a poster within the arch. Oh, with the wanted poster. Wanted poster, right? yeah. That was actually a play. Really? Yes, yeah, so we had a contest within the game uh, that we ran, and the player that won it sent it, you know, signed the releases, sent us his picture, we sent it off to Sci Fi, they did a rendering of it, uh, put his name on it, and actually stuck it on the wall. So he sits there for you know, a few seconds, that's a player who's a game, and then it hands off to go to the. Was it Leroy Jenkins or anything? <laughs> no, 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 no Leroy. This guy, man. <laughs> this guy, he, he was hardcore. <laughs> yeah, really the one that you put up there? Yeah, he was great. Wow, yeah, that's awesome. So we did it there, and then we're we will have the character, the player, flying to the set, uh, seeing the set, and then appearing in, in either one of the scenes or multiple scenes or speaking scene. We haven't quite figured out. So it would be actually the player playing the character. Or would it be yeah, it'd be the player. Oh wow, really? Yeah, it's not just somebody coming in and being the character. Right, they're gonna actually come in. Either character. Well, not, maybe not their character, but they so the, play, somebody. the player themselves could be on the set and in the show. Well, that's really cool. Yeah. No, they're really excited that's about be, it. That's better than, than I even thought of it. Yeah. Cool. yeah. We were excited that sci-fi really was behind doing this. So do you have any other kind of like cool in-game crossover thing, you know, fan interactions planned? Oh yeah, yeah. During during the offs, I can't be specific. We have a character. I can't say we have a character. I can't say who it is. Uh, who will be coming into the into the game during the off season? That'll kind of hint, and we may have more than one. It may kind of hint to the players what's going on during in defiance during the off season, and then sort of leads into into season two. So yeah, just be. What's that? <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't use the ones that are dead. <laughs> no, once because again we want to evolve together. So if they die in the television show. Okay.